All right, so we've set up a lot of different things in here. Now let's actually start talking about SQLize. So if you actually go to docs.sqlizejs.com, this is the main website for the SQLize ORM. And this is what we will be installing. So right away, real quick, what I want you to do is um, we're going to install a couple packages and then run a couple scripts. The first thing that you need to install is none other than, and we'll stop our server, I still had it running, you're going to want to install SQLize. And for this, I don't want you to install SQLize just in general. So let's open up a new tab and we'll go to npm js. So it, at the actual npm js, um, so npm site type in sqlize and navigate to that particular um oop, what did i do go back and navigate to that particular package all right make note of this version number please 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 because if sqlize changes anything a year down the road and this is like version seven point something i hold no <laughs> You know, that's please use this version to follow these these tutorials, or try to find another tutorial that's maybe a little more up to date. Because I've seen a lot of tutorials that they just tell you install this package, and then you do, and it doesn't work because it's a package that has had several updates to it, and things that they're telling you to work with no longer work. So we're going to install so SQL uh, npm i dash dash i dash dash oh my god i can't type save sqlize at 5.2.7 and then we're also going to save um mysql2 because that is the second package that you need with sqlize and you can find this if you go to the sqlize site um and you look under where is it getting started you will see right here that if you are using SQLize, you need to install one of these, one of these, um, along with SQLize. And we're going to do this with MySQL, so you need MySQL too. And we're going to want 1.6.5. So we'll say SQLize, uh, not SQLize, MySQL2 at. 1.6.5 and then we're going to let those install because they're going to take a second and the next thing we install is not going to be a dependency. While those are installing, I want you to go to SQLize CLI. Don't know why I typed in CLIE. All right, and here it is. I don't know if this is affiliated with the actual SQLize library or not, but I use it to grab a particular file. Um, I could probably just continue to copy that file all over the place, but I'm sure you might not have access to it. So there is a particular file you need to really make your models work with SQLize. And in all honesty, I wonder, let's see here. I don't think their particular site advocates this file it may though so migrations okay so they actually have the sequel yeah they advocate the cli okay i don't know if they're the same thing but i do know that they actually want you to use it too and they do not like give you the actual contents of said file in this on this website. So we'll, that's installed. We want to install SQLize version 5.4.0. And you can see here, we're not installing it as a dependency. We're going to install it globally. And the reason that you really want to install it globally, although you can just install it um, locally if you want, is that if you install it locally, you have to drill down into your node modules, binary folder, and SQLize to run any of its commands. And I'm not about that. I want to be able to run things like as an actual CLI in the 
terminal. So we're going to write npm install dash g sequelize cli and then at 5.4.0 at 5.4.0 and then we're going to go ahead and let that do its thing so what is the sequelized CLI going to give us uh, let's see here there's a bunch of commands that we are going to have available to us now and the biggest one um, is going to be init ooh, that we need in the beginning and then later on down the road, if you ever want to um, create kind of like backup tables, so that's tables that need to exist in order for your app to work correctly, um, you can create seeders. That's going to be a big thing. Um, and it just allows you to do a lot of different things. Migrations are going to be important if you're ever moving your database from one place to another. So the SQLized CLI is definitely something I recommend using, but it's not necessary. So that's all done. And what we're going to do then is write SQLize in it. And this is going to do something for us in a second. Let's find out what that is. Come on. All right. So if we actually go into our folder now, we see that we have all of these different things that were added to this for us. First, obviously, we see that we have MySQL2 and SQLize have been added here, but we also see that we have a Cedars folder, a Models folder, a Migrations folder, a Config folder, and inside of this Models folder is that file I was telling you that's very important, and that's index.js. Um, and I know this file can be kind of scary and intimidating at first, when you first seen it, I was kind of scared and intimidated when I first seen it, but it's not nearly as horrible as it looks. Um, I'll go through it in just a second on what that actually is. A couple of things here. Um, I am going to tell you right now, delete this config folder. I don't set up SQLize with this config folder, and you'll see what I do in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then real quick, I'm just going to add because we've kind of reached that point where everything that I needed to add is actually added. So we're going to do that and then we'll say git commit. And ooh. Tell me who you are. Oh, I wonder if this is because of the directory that I've installed this in. Well, yeah. Okay. So apparently installing this in a directory higher up than usual is causing some issues. I will commit this at a later time. All right. I'll talk to you in the next video.